City behind right now. Let's gather by the campfire light and sing this song. Hanging out with someone new, then falling out of a camp canoe. What's that smell? It's on your shoe. Got a s'more in my hair. Ladies and gentlemen, it's summertime, which is the best time of the year. Welcome to summer camp. That's Sam Stride, both foot and backwards. And Kirsten McHugh out there with a single ski, front flip. Then nodding out to outpost eight, you guys. That's where all the knuckleheads are at. All right. So you know what, camp cannot happen if we don't bring in our counselors. You saw some of the campers and off to the right-hand side. Let's welcome back to camp two for our pyramids. Goodness, I have so many memories of summer camp over the years. I've been at Camp Ottawa for 37 years. Hey, here comes some campers now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Camp Ottawa. Watch out for those stands there, Camp Dog. That's Air Dog the driver. He's, he's doing a pretty darn good job. All right, so at Camp Ottawa, we've been coming here for decades and decades. You know what? Some of my greatest memories at camp were all the pudgy pie making, all of the stuff from the concession stand. In fact, hey, look at right here. We got camper number one. Let's hear it for Mr. Carson. The key. Great job, Carson. Hey, campers, who's, who's excited to be back at camp? Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Strive, back there for me. You guys are all excited? Who's excited to be home for the parents for the week? Ah, don't worry. In a couple days, you guys will want to go home anyway, missing them. Ah, flashback. Anyways, we got a lot of activities planned for you this week. Right over here, guys. We got a lot of activities planned for you guys this week. Are you excited? All right. So we're going to go bigger and better than we've ever gone before. Hey, campers. I like my campers in line. And I like my counselors on time. Hey, kids. Here they come now. Ladies and gentlemen, Good morning. let's welcome back to camp. The Camp Ottawa is opening. Pyramid team. Yes, sir. Great job, kids. Thank you so much. Welcome back to camp. All right, kids, here's the situation we got over here. Here's the situation that we got. All right. Hey, thanks for coming back, guys. Do you guys remember last year when we wrote those songs at camp? Yeah. I wonder if you guys actually remember the words. I mean, they're pretty tricky, but it's pretty darn good. What do you say we start camp the same way we ended last year? All right. You girls, place the flag at the camp for opening ceremonies, and let's sing that opening ceremony song. We run, we jump, we swim and play. We go and go on trips. But the things that last forever are our dear friendships. Here we go. Camp on a water. We hold you in our hearts. And when we think about you, it makes me want to fall. No. <laughs> I, I hope we it's a hope part. Now get it right. right. Pay the price. Or pay the price. Solid effort out there, kids. I'm so proud of you. Most of you actually remembered the words. You know what, though? At camp, we've got a few rules that we got to go over. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. Rule number one: always respect your counselors and your boat drivers. Excellent. Good one. Good one. Okay. The next one is. Lights out is 9 p.m. because that's when I like to go to bed. Well, who doesn't go to bed at 9? Everybody should want to go to bed at 9. All right. And the last rule here at Camp Ottawa is, is if it's not broke, we don't want to hear about it. 
Well, very good. So now that we got the rules out of the way, what do you guys say we get this camp started? All right, welcome back to camp, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you again soon. Let's get those activities started here at Camp Ottawa's. In fact, we have a lot in store. Some of the things I came up with are probably not real good. But folks, off to your left-hand side, we got steer number one. That's Mr. Dan Kowalski out there on skis the size of a 12 inches long. Give it up for Dan on the shoe skis. Great job out there, campers, Dan. Glad to have that guy back with the campers this year. But guess what? There's more where that came from. Let's go off to the right-hand side. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a brand new Malibu. This guy's Carson, he's one of the show directors this year. He's always sitting down on the job. Watch as he cuts out to the right. Rolls his shoulders back. Ladies and gentlemen, the answer, Metro. Great job out there, Carson. Welcome back to camp, my friend. Welcome back indeed. Well, this guy is no stranger to most. This guy comes from us all the way from Green Bay, Wisconsin. CJ is sitting there on his knees. I don't know how he does it, but he's going to cut to the left with the knee board. Barrel roll. He's not done yet. Let's run through one more. a boy, CJ will see you in just a bit. Oh, wow, this team is stacked deep. I love Camp Ottawa 2024. Here comes a couple bit more. That's right, this triple rig has triple 500 Mercury's on it. First ever in show ski business. It's an exciting boat to ride in. And these two guys are excited to ski behind it. Give it up for Sam and Ryan Strong. Front to back, back to front. Off to the right hand side though, let's welcome CJ back. This time instead of a bail roll, coming straight into your living room with a huge front flip. Absolutely sticking it. One more bail roll, just for good measure. That's CJ. Back off to the right hand side. We got another strong boy. This one is Jack. Single ski tricking out there. Forward to back, back to front. But he ain't done yet. Cutting off to the right hand side. Coming at you with the back roll. Yeah, we're gonna do what we do. Well, wasn't that an exciting first activity at Camp Ottawa's? Whew, I'm kind of on the breath introducing all of Dave! Dave, oh my god, Dave, you didn't start camp with all the day! Welcome. Uh, <laughs> you didn't start camp with all me, did you? I'm not going to lie, I was a little aggressive. Welcome, Kate. Where the heck have you been? Of course we started camp. I was, I was late. I was supposed to get a ride, but my brother got his foot stuck in the pen wheel up in the beer tent. Oh, jeez. Seriously? What else have you been doing? We've been doing three acts in already. No, 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 no. You can't start camp without me because my mom, my mom said I could be an account counselor this year. Dave, can I be a counselor? Dave, can I be a counselor? Dave. Kate, seriously, first of all, we need you to just take a chill pill. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, in our water ski world at Camp Ottawa, just because your mom says that you should be in something doesn't no. mean you're actually cut no, out no, no. for it. I have, I got the email. I have my journal to write all my memories. I got a beer from the beer tent for after 9 o'clock. When are you going to drink that? We're at a uh, kids camp. After 9 o'clock is when the email says the fun starts. What? Things actually happen after 9 p.m. at camp? I guess so. That's but news then, to me. They told me to bring a plunger. Oh, yeah. that's You definitely read the handbook online. Every new counselor, you know, recruit that thinks they have a cutout to be a counselor needs to bring a plunger. You'll learn about that later. I wouldn't really worry about that too much, though, right now. What else you got in there? Um, I got the glove for the plunger. Okay, that's good. I got the caution tape and it's chili camp dump week. Oh, in fact, it is chili camp dump week. So, yeah, you're going to need that for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I think, Dave, if you give me a shot, I could be your Camp Ottawa's activity coordinator. You know, I was just talking about that before, Kate, how I usually plan all the activities, but it sure would be nice to have someone that actually knows what they're doing. Do you have a merit badge for that, by chance? I got, look at all my badges that I've earned. Oh, my gosh. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Kate, that's not a good start at all. But look at, I mean, I've got... You know, keep calm. I got a badge for that. Yeah, you do. I got a bunch of badges, but you know what? If you let me, I'm gonna do. The girls' cabins love to dance, so let's take them out of the cabins and have them compete against each other in a dance competition. Well, the girls sure love to dance. Are you sure we're cut out for it? Absolutely. All my girls love dance at the camp. Oh, look over there under the cabins now, Kate. Two different colors, two different camps. Hey, let's see what they can do. Hey, 
Boy, they didn't do a bad job, but where they excel, so do the boys. Look out there, under the cabin. And quiet, ladies and gentlemen, the boys don't want to be outside. Holy cow. Well, if I know one thing, if a dad of many daughters, they do not like to be outside. I have a feeling instead of being separate cabins, Kate, what we should maybe do is bring them together. 22 strong of the strongest ballet swivel dancers, ballet dancers that you ever did see. How does that sound? Great idea, Kate. I appreciate this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here at Camp Honors, we do our best to entertain this crowd. Let's say our big. How about 22 strong with the Shalski Sharks? Ballet line. And here comes our barefooters, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Camp Ottawa's Barefoot Line. Great job out there, guys. See you in a bit. It is the final payoff, right in the needle, right to the beat. Well, let's welcome back to Camp Ottawa's, Camp Ottawa's, Ballet Guys, I always wanted to go over that wedge in the middle of the lake, but Camp Counselor Dave always told us it's way too dangerous and we should never go out there. Who cares what Dave says? Let's do it anyway. I agree, but this dock is way too sticky. My skis seem like they're stuck to the dock. Anyone got a bucket for some water? Hey, I was in the outhouse over here, and I heard you guys wanted to go over the big wedge. Good grief, Karsten. What died in there? Um, I don't exactly know, but I do know is I have an idea to fix a sticky dock. Here, help me out. I got this out of the pit, and I let the dock down real good. Oh, yuck. That smells like yesterday's chili. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, it's clear that I have totally lost control of Camp Ottawa's now. Well, no stopping them now. Let's welcome to the water, Jump Boat. Number one. Well, these guys want to go too, I guess. Let's welcome Jump Boat. Number two. 
That's right, two beautiful brand new Malibu's sending those guys up and over that hey, first lap in the middle of this lake. Now, take your eyes off the water, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot in store for you here. We're going to head off to the right hand side. Let's roll the calm down just a little bit and see what they can do out there. It's not safe. I've been telling campers this week, that is, do not go over the wedge in the middle of the lake. Clearly an attractive nuisance, and these guys aren't afraid. Two guys wrapped up, one on his toes, give it up. The double holy, first flip. Second it. Not too bad, you know what, I warned him, do not go over the wedge. That is not a good idea. Well, they showed you right there, that jump is a little bit slick and a little bit steep, but you know what? We got more where that came from. Camp Honda was just been here a long, long time, and these guys work real, real hard. So you're going to bring in another couple jumpers and see if they can't make it stick over that faint first ramp out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, summer camp is back underway. Off to the right-hand side, Malibu number two, three more guys wrapped up. Here they come, one guy tapping his head, one guy wrapped, one guy's head over heels. Let's hear it for it. Helicopter, flip flip, to the cover there. There we go. Not too shabby. All right, okay, I'm, I'm learning to love this just a little bit more. Look off to the right hand side. We got a boat out there, two young ladies going up and over that ramp. One cut and under, ladies and gentlemen. Two gal right over, to the cut under. Sticking it! Great work indeed. Flip boat number one heading back to the north. So what's over, what's over by the cabin? Something you may never have seen before. That's air dog, that's right, in his adaptive water ski chair. And we have some issues over there. Like we said, do not use the very first ramp out there, guys. Oh my goodness. You know what, air dog doesn't care. He likes to swim as much as he likes to jump. How about we bring all those jumpers back off to the right hand side and see what we got in store next. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, that's a good look at the biggest boat in show ski history. It's not too bad indeed. All right. Well, guess what? We're going to bring one more boat back to you. Center stage off to the right hand side. Coming in hot right now. Now we've got one guy wrapped, two guys on their toes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the two man front with a helicopter spin. There we go. All right. Honestly, I don't know how to be mad at these kids. You know, they took off, went over the bank first ramp out there, but you know, they did pretty darn good. A couple times we sent people home to their parents with, you know, braces and, and casts and things, but I don't know, they seem to be all right to me. Hey, here they come now. Come on, come on back to camp, guys. It's about time you start listening to counselors around here. So let's introduce you first. And there's no discussion, I'm the dude in a robe drinking white Russians. My bar top shelf, my That's right, folks, this is an all-girl jump team. Let's do it for, for Faith, Taya, and Matt. What are you doing out there? Oh, great job, guys. Thank you so much. Next up, flip boat number one. Let's hear it. Left to right, Preston, CJ, and Jack. Great job, boys. Thank you. Let's welcome back to camp. This is the other boat. Going out over the hills and all the way under. We got Brad, we got Alex, and we got Sam. And in its entirety, I introduce you to the camp on the Jump team. Great job, boys. are disgusting. I found a swivel ski shoved down there. <laughs> swivel ski in the oh no, that's a great one. No. Oh, those boys, they'll do that every year. You know but what, you though? Know. It's time for my nightly affirmations. Just give me one minute, Kate, okay? All right, you, you go take some time to yourself there, Dave. I'm gonna. Okay. Ladies, shh, now's the time. Come on out. We're gonna sneak out, but don't tell Dave, okay? I'm gonna be the coolest counselor ever. Shh, you have to be quiet out here. You know it's past lights out, and Dave is surely sleeping already. Remember, if we get caught sneaking out again, we're getting sent home. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. I've never snuck out before. It's kind of exciting. Hurry up, I'm ready to spread my wings. Let's get out of here. Spread their wings, they are ready. Everybody, please put your hands. 
place together close to the water. We have. here doing my daily affirmations and I hear you encouraging these girls to seek out after myself. Clearly not in good order with me if you want to be a camper. Can't call us. Oh, here comes some more even cake. Good grief. Off to the right hand side. Let's welcome to Camp Ottawa a swimmer ride. Great job out there, campers. That was to pack you wax and enjoy these good ones doing their thing. that you think you're in the middle of. Seriously, we don't let kids just sneak out after lights out. I heard you while I was over there asking them to leave their camps to deceive me directly. It's like they're my kids for heaven's sakes. But that's okay, because you know what? It's after hours, you and bad. I was watching them. The state inspector, he's gonna come later to make sure that the camp is clean. We have all of our campers in line. We have a head count. It's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> If you say so, Kate, I guess maybe I'll just follow your lead on this. You should, because the next activity, I think, should be friendship bracelets. Oh, friendship bracelets. You know, Camp Otto has never been a place to find love, but maybe you're onto something. Let's walk into the water with Camp Couple number one. CJ and CJ. Not too 
Jones at gate. Over by the cabins, camp couple number two. Let's hear it for Brad and Elizabeth. Nice job out there, guys. But over there by the cabins, camp couple number three. Let's hear it for Carson and Ava. And last but not least, step up into the water, Salvador and Katie. Still catching feelings for your world. You that kid, we got them all on the water now. Maybe they're going to find their path in safety coming up. Well, I'll get back and enjoy the show. Well, once again, that spectacle turned into something quite beautiful. That's right out there doing the show for you today. Let's welcome back to camp, ladies and gentlemen, Shondor and Katie. Thank you. Great job out there, couples. Great job. Off to my right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome back to stage. We've got Brad and Elizabeth. Thank you. Off to my left, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome back to stage, Carson and Ava. Thank you. And in its entirety, I introduce you to Camp Honors, Camp Couples. Thank you. Good job out there, campers. Oh, golly, gee. What's up, Dave? Eli, what's going on, man? Not much. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing here at camp, buddy? Well, you know, everyone's been treating me pretty good so far this weekend. Well, almost everybody. You know, they gave me this sweet costume. The food is great, but I think I'm homesick. Oh, really? <laughs> one of these guys, huh? All right. Well, I said it earlier in the uh, week here at camp that eventually kids tend to get homesick. They want to go home to their mommies and their daddies. Is that kind of what we're dealing with here? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I've been a camp counselor here for decades and decades. So one thing that I've learned is if you just communicate with your folks, maybe they can talk you off, you know, whatever you're going through here. And, and uh, so do you have your phone with you? <laughs> of course you have this phone with them. They all have their phones with them. Uh, why don't you give them a call, Eli, and uh, to see if they can help you out. Hello, Moto. Hello, Fado. Here I am at Carolina Ross. Can't 
entertaining. And they say they'll have some fun if they stop running. The costumes are bright and shiny, although it barely covers my hiney. For stupid reader, I hope I don't go, because somehow all I got was a speedo. Hey, Eli, heard you're having a tough time here at camp. Well, come out here by the cabins. Dave and the other counselors left the keys in these boats. Huh. We're going to take them for a rip around the lake. Really? Wait a minute. They stop hearing. Guys are screaming. Guys are bursting. So no better. Gee, that's better. Mother, father, kindly disregard this letter. Well, how, how'd that go, Eli? Pretty good, huh, guys? Give it up. You're back. You know, I'm, I'm feeling a little better now. The guys on the dock want me to come ski with them, so I'll ski you later. Wait a second. Ski you later? Dude, the, the counselor's are on a break. Man. I say oh, oh, for crying out loud, I have lost the complete control of camp. Well, good grief. Let's see what we've got. Well, look at over there, ladies and gentlemen. Our endurance camp himself. Give it up. Starting off the back of circles, this is Mr. Ryan Strong. That's right, up and out, all the way around Lake Rosita. But then look now, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Bourne, out there over on the pit toilet, bouncing off the bottom of Lake Rosita, off of his both feet as well, Jason Ryan, all around this circle. Last but not least, that's the old guy out there, Mr. Alex Pesser, 40 years young, on the back. 45 miles an hour, full throttle in that Malibu. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bestwood Circle. Come on, boys, bring this baby home. All right, we got one still up, ladies and gentlemen. The race is on. Maybe they should have taken those boats without permission after all. That's right, tight loop there at the end. Coming around that corner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring him in right to the beach, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, he never lands food, but uh, he landed. Oh. We'll get him up here for a proper introduction in just a minute. All the way around Lake Wauzicia here at Camp Ottawa. Boy, oh boy, that is a long trip. Come on up here, Alex. But before we introduce him, ladies and gentlemen, up to the right-hand side, 1,500 horsepower, 45 miles an hour, three guys, six Cs, jumping out, three, two, one. The two C bomb out. That's right, off to your right-hand side. Let's give it up for the old guy, Mr. Alex Chester. <laughs> Great job out there, Alex. Solid effort indeed. <laughs> Your hands full there, I they, I found an old pudgy pie maker. Oh, it's our camp favorite. We love pudgy pies here at Camp Ottawa. This is a great idea. What's the pun? No. Oh, jeez, Kate. Don't think. Put the plunger down. It's a, little, it's a little dirty. Disgusting. But you know what? Everybody loves pudgies at camp, and I think my favorite is peanut butter and jelly. What's yours? Well, I'm kind of a vanilla guy myself. Like, simple. Keep it simple. Ice cream sandwich one, but it just keeps melting. Not of ice cream, vanilla ice cream. No, like oh. just keep it simple, like something like I don't know, ham and cheese or something. Well, I'll make you a pudgy okay. with some ingredients that I found on the shelf. Yep. I don't know how long they've been there, but um, I'll make you a pudgy. You get me a fire going. Oh, I have been a Boy Scout. I know how to make a campfire. In fact, I got one right here. I saw those Boy Scouts over there one day. They were just stacking these nice and tight like this. Because you don't want a lot of air on tow. Then it gets too big, it's a little more dangerous. So we're just going to, well, hold on. We're put a little bit of I cheese think this is right. on there. Okay. A little bit of a chocolate cookie. Okay. Who doesn't love uh, cheese and I think chocolate. I got it here, honestly. I mean, what? Did you bring a lighter? David, that's not how you build a fire. You need air underneath it. Okay. You got no, a better you idea? You were a Boy Scout, weren't you? <laughs> That's Girl Scouts. You gotta put it in like a TP formation. You gotta get air underneath there. David, go get me that gas can. <laughs> oh, this looks delicious. Oh, yeah, try that, Budgie. How's my favorite? 
what? I, I don't know how old these Damn things are. Damn on chocolate chip. <laughs> what? Hey, Kate, I like the way that you're building it like that. It's kind of like in a teepee. Yeah. So this week I've been kind of wandering around camp, and I've noticed all the campers over there by the cabins. They were doing trust challenges out into the woods. It kind of looks like the teepee you're trying to make with that fire. Kate, look over there by the cabins now. They're doing it again. They're doing it again. Three pre-built pyramids on the dock. Plus, welcome to the water, the ski sharks. Watch me as I dance under the spotlight Listen to the people screaming Wow, Keith! Oh, I think you're on to something! Keep them coming. Oh, the gas can! I got a saddle help! I'll get the fire going! Yeah, back. and then we'll put a little bit of... Wow, you really put it way over here! <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit of ghost on fluid on the fire! This ought to get this fire started. Yeah, pour that on there. There we go, Kate. And then this, this stand. If it doesn't, it's okay. I mean, if we put enough ghost cell food on there, we should get it started, I think, Kate. Right? Okay. And they'll light the fire. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Did we still need to have a lighter, Kate. Kate, do you have a lighter? No, I'm just a pretty face. No. You always tell me you're more than a pretty face, Kate. Well, that was pretty cool. Trust challenges all week long over there in the woods, and they get it right over there by the cabin. It's all right for you guys. And hey, here they come now. They're going to bring it right back to shore for you guys to take a look. Oh my gosh. Camp Ottawa is really built on trust, and we can't be happier with these folks right here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back to camp. The Camp Ottawa is pre-built. Pyramid Team. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing? No, it's a light. The fire's there. What are you doing? It's a dud, Kate. It's a dud. Oh, this is smoking. Okay. Okay. smoking. Back it up. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Get the gas can away. Kate. Good. What are we doing? What are, what are you doing, Kate? You can, yeah, good idea. Good idea. Yep, right over here, Kate. Get this fire out. No, not the 608. Do not get the new balance 608s wet. That is a cardinal rule. Oh, seriously. Hey, that could have been a nightmare. You have to make yourself good. And it was gasoline. I know it. I think the kids got to come in before they see how scared you were. You think they were, I was scared? I wasn't scared. It wasn't me. All right. Well, hey, it looks like the kids are coming in for bedtime now. Littered all over Lake, Lake Wazich out there. So that'll be fun. But uh, good idea. Let's get the kids in here, get them to bed. We'll get on to the next thing. It's going to be all right. So, hey, come on up here, young man. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from one of the kids of Camp Howard. Good job, Thatcher. Welcome back to camp. You know, that was pretty talented that they came in. I think I heard way back in the day when you were a young pup, you used to have some talent. Well, I got a lot of talent. I've been doing this for a lot of years, and I've written a lot of songs, Kate. i got to be honest, I've got a favorite song that I wrote probably uh, 35 years ago at camp. It won Best Talent of the Camp that week. Should we go with that? Okay. Let's give it a shot, kids. Are you ready for the talent show? All right, here we go. I am in S. I am in SK. I am in S K I S H A R K dot E I. And I will water ski all over the lake right here. With Malibu's and Mercury's pulling us all week. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Hey, hey kids. Now that you heard the song, okay? I don't need you to really know it that good. In fact, it doesn't even have to be good. Just sing it loud, okay? Here we go. Verse two. I am in a. I am in a. I am in a K. I am in a K I S H A R K. That's the I. I will water ski all over the river right here with Malibu's and Mercury's pulling us all week. some talent, Kate, huh? That was pretty good, Dave, but you know what? I think you may have been better back in the years. Back in the years, Kate? I, I think you're better with age, honestly, but okay. But you know what? Speaking of talent, I think the next
next event we should do before the state inspector gets here is a talent show. A talent show? Kids, what do you think? Should we do a talent show? All right, why don't you guys go get your skis and head on back to camp? Hey, Kate, I think that's a brilliant idea. In fact, if you look off to the left-hand side, we got a whole bunch of talented people over there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the water the Staggered Strap Trios. Six o'clock. This thing ring. Great job out there, campers. I wish I had some Great job. Today. And I wish I had it down for every bill I got to pay. Holy Sunday cats, though, we've got a lot more campers where that came time, from. Time Look over there by the cabin. There's a whole the bunch of them, guys. Swim, oh, my mind, goodness. We strapped them up to the big rig this time. How about we walk into the water? The camp on the That's an old double team. Nice skiing out there, guys. See you guys in just a little bit. Wow, Kate, this is such a great idea to have a talent show at camp. I'm so excited. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, off to the right hand side, there's a whole bunch more skiers over there. Well, looky there, ladies and gentlemen, it's a staggered strap double line. So what's up, man? You got a little work or 20 to land. I open up my hand and said I'm glad to see. They can take away my job, but not my friends, you see. And here I am, just waiting for this Hey, that's a great job out there, campers, but we're not done yet. On to the right-hand side. Let's go into the camp. This is our swim line. On the beach there with all my friends The sun's so hot and the waves in motion And everything smells like suntan lotion The ocean and the girls so sweet So kick off your shoes and relax your feet They say that miracles are never ceasing And every single soul needs a little release And the stereo bumble till the sun goes down And I only want to hear that sound sound, 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 sound. When the sun goes, that's the sound of sunshine, of sunshine coming down. Welcome to camp. Good? Wow, that was a great talent show. 
You know, I haven't seen Kate in a while, and that inspector is surely going to be here soon. Man. Oh, well, I guess I can handle it. Oh, of course, there he is. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Dave! Boy, that's the cleanest outhouse I've ever seen, but I've never had one flush before. <laughs> that's pretty good. We pride, us, we pride ourselves in the cleanest latrines in the industry, and the fact that it flushes is one of our pinnacles of what we've done around here. Thank you for noticing. Well, you know I'm here, though, right? Camp inspection time. Yeah, Kate's been telling me about that, and we've kind of been preparing for it all week long. We've done all we could over there behind the scenes to make sure that everything is tidy, really just being ready for you. We know we've had some bad inspections in the past, but this year's not that way. It's going to be different. But it all looks pretty clean right now, but uh, you know what? I, I need to get a roster and see all your campers together. Well, you know, I don't know about all the campers being in one place at one time, Phil, but why don't you go take a look over there in the camp, take a look around, let me know what you find, okay? All right, we'll, we'll catch you. We'll see you in a bit. We'll catch you in a bit. Maybe Kate will come back, too. Hey, Dave. I can't believe these boys took our boats before and did hot laps around the river. I think it's time for a little payback. Since they have such a need for speed, how about we hook them up to this 450 horsepower Malibu and whip them all the way around at 50 miles per hour? Hey, hey, you know what, Bart? You're talking my language. It is time for payback. But here's the problem. We've sent kids home and cast before. We may not want to do it this year. And the camp inspector's on site, so take it easy, all right, my friend? One, two, three, and four. Off to the right-hand side. That's Captain Bart out there. He's going to throw his hand down. The guys are going to go off to the right-hand side. Ladies and gentlemen, the four man, ATV. One, two, Get a Louis like three on. Get the money is yours. Back it up like that. Yes, three. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, off to the left hand side. You already missed it. I apologize. That was Sam out there doing a backward JTV. Oh my gosh, that was a good payback, folks. Great job out there. Great payback, JTV. Oh man, I wish Kate was here. She could help clean up this thing. No. I hope the inspection is going well. I'm not sure where Kate is because she's in charge. Of, she, he said something about campers. Got to be in. Got to keep track of those campers. Oh man. No. Uh -huh. No, it's okay. I found it. I found it. Oh my God, Kate. Oh, there you are. I have the next event planned, and it's gonna be amazing. You have another activity. Yeah. Free water. Oh, don't hurt people, Kate. What's going on here? Oh, my gosh. Hi. I don't know you. Hi. I thought the best thing to do for the next thing is we should do we should do a beach party. Oh, of right. course. Well, of course we want to end this year off with a beach party. That's a great idea, Kate. But I got to be honest, you just walked past the cap inspector, and we've already we sent guys around to jump doing ATBs, and, and he saw it. So we might be in a little trouble there. Here's the situation, though. The primary issue, he said the camp looks good. Yeah. But he thinks we might be missing some campers. He wants to see them all together in one spot. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Oh, no, we're not missing anybody. Hi, ladies. Oh, see, I knew they were the whole time. Have you guys totally lost control of your camp? No, not at all. I, I have this here control. for this particular reason. They're not lost. Now, where have they been? I haven't seen these girls all week. My gosh. I'm going to be here. All week? I mean, <laughs> they haven't been here since breakfast is what I meant, sir. Okay, I'm talking. Oh, okay. Kate, seriously, get them in here. That's a great toss. You're going to be a great spotter someday. We can be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, off to the right-hand side. Oh, gosh, a couple more campers that Kate surely lost control of. All girls, ATP. One, two, skiers. Great job. No, what in the world? This inspector is here. Keep, keep it clean, okay? Where have you been? Steve, we've been floating out there all week. Wait a second. You've literally been down the lake all week long? We came as soon as we heard. Heard what? Beach party! Oh, my idea! That was my idea! There's no doubt about the beach party's going to happen, but the inspector's worried about mosey campers. They just, I think that we've got to keep pulling them in here. We've got to get everybody in at one time. Hey, let's start with these girls right over here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back to camp our all girls ATV. Hey, thanks, girls. Have you guys been lost too? Kate just can't seem to keep track of these things. No, I, all right, I so you guys it. were out in your boat over there. Is everything all right? Yeah, we were tanning. Tanning, good grief. What's the UV, Gabby? You seem to always know what the UV is. Uh, I checked this morning. It's about seven, I think. Seven UV. That's good for tanning. Well, you know, I, I I still need to see all the all the campers and everything. Uh, together so I can get a good head count. I got your roster right here. Well, isn't that something? You and USA Water Ski both want to see our rosters all the time. Dave, he doesn't even have the middle kid or the password kid, so we're fine. Oh. They're all middle kid and password Are you middle kids, kid? Nobody, Are you middle nobody child? counts them. Middle, yeah, they're all middle kids anyway. Parents wouldn't even know if they didn't make it home, and that's okay. All right, Phil, here's the deal. I know you want to see all the campers at one time, and we're going to work on that. Kate has been in charge of that all week, but we got to give her some kudos for taking care of this camp overall, right? It's very clean. That's clean as I've seen. It's, uh, I'm still worried about the flushing toilet thing. <laughs> That's odd. I know. It is a little odd, but it's clean. Well, girls, let's have a beach party, huh? All right, so we got these life jackets on. What do you guys say we get over there in the boat? Can you show these girls how to use the boat? That's right. Let's do a little bit of a race. Where's that rope, Kate? They're going to need that rope again. All right, girls. This is where life and death is made. There you go. Yep, keep that light jacket on. Definitely want to use some helmets. There you go. Get the light jacket on. All right, yeah, okay. Bailey, why don't you come over here and grab the rope. They'll talk to you. Okay, ready? Ready? Get in the boat. Here we go. Ready? Hit it. Across. Go. Yeah. This is a great beach party, Kate. What a wonderful idea. You know, I guess my beach parties were the after 9 o'clock because I've got the beer tent beer on tap. Yep. I'm ready to go. Okay. One more rider. Here we go. Throw a life jacket on it. I hate to not have a life jacket on when we're a boat. Yeah, show safety. <laughs> Come on, girls. There we go. Ready? Hit it. Oh, my gosh. All the way around. Yep. All the way around the boat. There we go. <laughs> this beach party is so much fun. Oh, Kate. I'll tell you what, this week at Camp Onawas has been so special to us. It's one of the biggest camps we've ever had. And it's because of you, Kate, with all of these merit badges. I don't know, you had some things that really didn't, you know, go on par. Like in, you, you, well, let's you talk know. about the things that I did do right. What were well, those? Well, I didn't show up on time because you like your counselor, your camper's in line and your counselor's on time. So we're going to forget that I showed up late. Well, okay, I'll try and forget that. Okay. Uh, then you had me on the pit with train duty. Yep, you did a good job doing that, though. Yeah, I had a Very clean. trouble with a shovel ski. Yeah, it's weird. I know. Chili dump week is tough. But I did make friendship bracelets for all the new kids. You sure did, Kate. We thank you for that. And I fed you. You, yeah, the, that was one of the worst pudgy pies I've ever eaten, Kate, but thank you for that. You're welcome. So you've done a lot of good things, there's no doubt about it. You earned a lot of merit badges. One thing that we're worried about, though, is just making sure all these campers are in line. So we got the four that you lost track of already, but we're going to bring the rest of them in. I think, I think we can do a head count I, I still got to get them all together so I can get a good head count and everything. Okay. I, I know, Phil. We're going to try our hardest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had a great time at Camp Ana was this year. Yeah, we did too. We love Camp Onawas, and just so your information, that's Chano spelled backwards, so don't try to Google the location. You're not going to find it. But for some reason, the camp inspector always seems to find Camp Onawas. You know what? Let's look off to the right-hand side, because I think we might just bring in the rest of those campers for you all to see. And through the show course now, let's hear it for it. A four, three, four. Sherry Schultz! Great job, Sherry. Behind the scenes over there, let's hear it for Pat, let's hear it for Tracy, Debbie, Maria, Jess, and all the moms back there making sure the kids are in the right spot at the right time. Let's hear it for Tom and Clint Severo up over the hill, never get to see the stage show ever, but they volunteer to run the North Dock for us. Let's give it up for the one who's making all the calls, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Dana McHugh. 
And we do remiss to not introduce the ones trying to make me sound good all night long. Give it up for our sound crew, Michael and Shadrick. Great job, boys. And I'd like to introduce our characters over here, ladies and gentlemen. The first one is Phil. This name truly is Phil, so we use him for Phil. Thank you, Phil. And the one helping me look good all night long. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Kate Burns. Great job, Kate. coasters and water ski show at Legoland Florida Resort. My dad enjoys playing golf and mom loves all the parks and trails. Central Florida is such a great place to have fun and find new adventures. So if you'd like to learn more about Central Florida, ask your parents to go to visitcentralflorida.org.
Hey everybody, Mark Jackson here at the 2024 Bank First Scotts Estates Key Show Championships presented by Visit Central Florida. Well, thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Wow, what a show we saw from the Shano Ski Sharks. Last year was kind of a uh, on-water disaster, and uh, if it wasn't for their production, they wouldn't have placed second. They had a great show last year, just a few too many falls. This year, they had a few falls, great production, but a better performance overall. Man, they rocked it. I was really impressed. Very entertaining show. You know, it was a, sort of a camp theme, and the, uh, the name of the camp was Anawaz. I'm thinking, man, that kind of sounds like Shano backwards. Well, sure enough, that's what it is. So uh, it's not exactly deciphering uh, code or anything like that, but it is what it is. Uh, 47 years this team has been around. They've been rocking the shores of uh, the Wolf River for that long. This is a great team that will be hosting the D2 Nationals coming up in a couple of weeks, so make sure you tune in for that because we will be broadcasting that. One of the things I want you to, to notice, some of you may have, some of you may have not. One of their boats had three 500 horsepower engines. Now that makes it really difficult to turn, but it sure does have a lot of power. 1,500 horsepower on a ski boat. Imagine that. I don't think they'd have any problem pulling uh, virtually anything off the dock. The uh, the, the club itself has grown, and it has grown a lot. They're up into the, the, the big team categories, even though they're skiing in D2, but based on that performance, they could very well and very easily be competing uh, effectively in D1. So we'll have to see how they end up doing. I mentioned the, uh, uh, the talent out on the water, and they opened up their show, just kind of a little of Mark's summary, if you will, Mark's story. The, uh, the opening... Man, as I impressed, two four tiers. Like, wow, they're rocking. Starting their show off hot. Jumping had mis mixed results in the show. They had some great uh, flips, gainers, and and multiple uh, multiple skier jumps, but they did have some falls. Uh, not too bad, you know. Something that makes it even look a little bit more difficult. Falls aren't always bad, especially if you can recover. You come back and you make it a little bit later. A couple of other things that stood out. Um, their front barefoot, uh, you know, their, their front barefoot was pretty cool. They had three dock starts, went around circle, and then uh, three, two ski jump outs. Some of you call them bomb outs. I still call them, uh, looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter walking by over there. Anyway, their pre builds I know they were really building that up. A tremendous performance there. They had three of them on the dock, pre belts okay, three tiers high. They took them off. Unfortunately, we had a yard sale on the, on the uh, middle pyramid, but they still pulled the thing off, and uh, the crowd loved it. They were on their feet. The big act. Now, when you have 112 members, um, you can do this, but they had 41 people out on the water. Uh, I know Janesville puts out, you know, 60, almost 70 people sometimes, but they had 41 people, um, th three arrow trios. I always love that. That's just a great show act. Uh, nine conventional doubles, three of them fell, unfortunately. And then uh, six swivel skiers and then four straps. They did something I've never seen before. Well, okay. What, what can you do with straps that I've never seen before? They did four death drops, sequenced, and they all made it. Unbelievable. So the degree of difficulty for that is going to skyrocket. Um, and it was very entertaining. I was impressed, really impressed. The final pyramid kind of said it all. A 4-3-4. Four, four. Um, that really wrapped up their show. So this year, what's different from last year for them is that the skiing, the talent, the degree of difficulty, all of that stuff that the judges look to and for out on the water was outstanding uh, this year. Last year, well, they sort of crashed and burned, but production saved them. So a heck of a ski club. Um, I, was, I was impressed, and I'm looking forward to heading there in a couple of weeks for the D2 Nationals. Don't forget that. Well, we have the skiers coming in right now, and they're all chattering over here. I think we've got four of you. How you doing? Why don't you two guys get on my left side? Hi, <laughs> sorry. So, Way to stick it tonight, baby. What did you stick, sport model? Uh, opener, ballet line, 
swivels, swivel, star swivel, um, big, X, big swivel. act, and ender. Ender, what's an ender? ender. Is that ender. like like you end up falling or what? And pyramid. Oh, and pyramid. What's your name, by the way? Charlotte. Charlotte, like Charlotte's Web? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just making sure I get that right. Okay. So, Charlotte, how old are you? I'm 11. You're 11, huh? You do all that stuff in the show. How long have you been skiing? Uh, about like eight years. About like eight years, and you're eight, right? I'm 11. You're 11. Oh, okay. You started when she was three. All right, that was pretty cool. You're kind of a star. Are you nervous? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, a lot of people are, but that's okay. Just remember, you're just having a conversation with me, and I'm an easy guy to have a conversation with. All right. Can I talk to this guy behind you? Would you mind? Okay. <laughs> Yes, sir. How do you like that show? I loved it. You know, la it last year you crashed and burned. A lot of hacks. <laughs> well, you did. I mean, you know. You our biggest you, hacks, you, yeah. Uh, you know, and all of that type of stuff. What saved you last year was your production, and you had people crying because they you ended up second place. Yep. You know, you yep. guys really rocked it. After this show, I said, these guys really belong in D1. Uh -huh. I mean, you guys were that good. Thank you. Yeah, I, you know, I was just so impressed with the numbers out on the water, the degree of difficulty you picked up. Um, the overall production, again, was stellar. So, good. Dave, what, you know, over, what have you done differently? Because this year, you just came out and just rocked it from the start. You ended it with a 4-3-4. Four, four. Yeah, thanks for noticing. We, um, a couple years ago, really started just paying attention to the production. We know skiing's only 25% of the score, and, and we want, we're here to entertain, bottom line. So we're having fun, and we hope everybody sees that. And so our production level is, is, is getting better. We've got room to grow, obviously. But, um, and then the kids, I always tell every week, I said, we're not worried about the skiing. The kids are going to be skiing their hearts out, and they did that today. And uh, so me and Kate on shore, we, uh, we feed off each other really well, and we came up with what we felt was a reasonably entertaining uh, script. And we, we didn't follow it real close, but uh, but it still came out pretty good. And can't go wrong with a camp theme. Yeah, that's right. So and we love the camp theme. It was yeah. a great idea by the show directors here. So thanks All right. for, thanks for uh, enjoying it and, and giving us such kind words. A lot of wows on, the, on, on shore, a lot of people on their feet. Okay, Sunshine, come on over here. That is a bright outfit. Yeah. That'd be good for deer hunting almost, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so what's your name? I'm Faith. Faith, mm -hmm. like having a lot of faith. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay, well, Faith, what did you do in the show? Uh, opening pyramid, ballet, star swivel, pre-built, big act. What happened on the... Pyramid jump. <laughs> what, it, it, did you see what happened on the middle pre-built? No, that was me. I had a knot. <laughs> oh, you had a knot. That's what it was? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, it's we all her fault, okay? Fault. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. But, yeah. But, the, but that happens. When you're dealing... You know, pay attention to this for those of you that don't know a lot about show skiing. There are miles of rope. No, I'm not kidding. Miles of rope. And so we have one knot caused one fall. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, I'd say overall we did really well. So well, that's a few falls. That's what counts. Okay. Yeah, you're kind of a casual one, aren't you? <laughs> What's your name? Taya. You're a show director. I am a show director. Yeah. Are you a good one? I would like to think so. <laughs> After, based on watching that show, I really think that that is, uh, that is true. Yeah, Thank so you. What, what did you actually do in the show besides direct all the uh, munchkins out there and all the, you know, the guys and girls and everything else? I do opening pyramid, ballet, jump, pre -builds. Oh, back up. You jumped? I did jump. No way. <laughs> yep. What'd you do? A ride over with a cut under. No kidding. Yeah. How long you been jumping? Uh, this is my second year jumping. Really? Yep. So, so you rocked it. Oh yeah. Yeah, good. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, so you gotta go to you know go to college? Yeah, I do go to college for nursing. Oh, okay. You don't have like 20 kids or anything. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay, not yet. Okay, but you're nursing. Where do you go? Yeah, I go to NWTC. Better say that slower. See, us old guys. See, we have a little not old, but you know, senior, s seasoned veterans like myself. Okay, I have a harder time hearing. So NWTC. Okay, North what is it? Western Technical College. No, it's Eastern. Eastern Technical College, sorry. There you go. <laughs> North, South, East, West. There you go. Okay, fine. Well, well let's. up after the show today. <laughs> well, you should be because it was a great show. Come on over here. We'll play musical skiers. What's your name? My name is Karsten. Karsten, you're also a show director, if I remember correctly. Yes, I am. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's good. Karsten, how old are you? I'm 21. You're 21. Now, are you out of college? I am out of college, yeah. Okay, what do you do? 
Um, I went for massage therapy, but I actually work with autistic children um, that are from three to six years old. Help you're, them with to get in like school and everything like that. So you're kidding. No, I'm not actually. That is a heck of an occupation. Yeah. And that's one of, uh, you know, God gives us all different gifts, right? And uh, that's obviously a God-given gift. So you're using your gifts for his purpose. Right? Yeah, for sure. I love I love all the kids. They're, it's so cool to see them learn new things, just basic things we all take for granted. Like, when they learn it, it's just so awesome. Like, just even just talking or, like, listening, just anything, just, or just being a straight line, like, Mm -hmm. It's really cool when you see the kids like progress and you, they it just happens so quickly. That's awesome. Tell us what you did in the show. Um, I did opening jump, so my opening front flip, single ski front flip. Then I did sky ski and variety act. Um, after that, bear. How did the sky ski go? I, you know, you guys. <laughs> I, I, I'm, it's not a setup question. I'm just asking. Uh, not so well today. Um, did not get the arrow I was supposed to, and yeah, I think I just got a little bit of my head there, but. Yeah, happens. <laughs> yeah, well, it does happen. I mean, you're not going to be perfect every single time. Yeah. Um, how about the pyramid? That was awfully impressive at the end of the show. I mean, you, you rocked it with it, a pyramid in the opening. You rocked it at, at the end. So, I mean, as a show director, you got to be thrilled. Oh, I was super thrilled. We got our two four highs up. We've had some struggles. We quickly, girls adapted right before the state, and girls stepped up, and it was awesome. Like, we were so happy about that. Yeah, they did awesome in our opening four highs. Ender. We had some other people step up. We needed a second tier, and our little girl who just joined this year, she goes, well, I got this, and she learned how to climb like two weeks before state and rocked it. Well, <laughs> this team isn't lacking any confidence, but they are humble, and that's a, that's, that's a great combination, everybody. Well, Shawano Ski Sharks, I am so looking forward to being in Shawano, Wisconsin in two weeks. And did you know that the Packers family night, which draws more than any in the, in the country, 60,000 people show up to watch a practice at Lambeau Field. Did you know that? Yeah. That's the, the Saturday night of D2. So now we've all got something to do. I might sneak over and watch the game. You never know. Yeah. But uh, it'll be a good time in Shawano, Wisconsin in a couple of weeks, uh, August, I believe it's second, it's third. Second, third on there, yeah. yeah, second and third. Uh, you can catch all the action, uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Go through USA Water Ski uh, and Wake Sports. Check out the website, click on it, and uh, we'll be talking with you again in a couple of weeks from there. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us. The Shawano Ski Sharks rocking the waters of Lake Wazicha. This is Mark Jackson, the 2024 Wisconsin State Ski Show Championships. I kind of did it like you, like <laughs> Dave did, you know, I was trying to imitate Dave. Didn't do a good job. But uh, anyway, uh, presented by Visit Central Florida. Thanks so much for joining us. I'll be back with a little preview for the Waterboard Warriors, and that's sort of near Shawano, um, actually closer to Green Bay. We'll give you the insights to that team. We'll be back right after this. Stay tuned.